Hey out there, legal warriors. Do you know there are three reasons that staying positive is an essential part of your criminal defense? If you're interested in that area of the law, stay tuned. This is the video for you. My name is attorney Lance Shriver. I'm a defense attorney in Linwood, Washington. My law firm has been defending people charged with crimes all throughout Washington State for more than 20 years, and I'm putting out these videos to help educate the public. So if you find this useful, please like and please subscribe. More people get to see it. More people get the help they need. Now I'm just going to jump right into it. It sort of sounds like a cliche, stay positive. But let me tell you, from doing defense work for 24 years, and I was a prosecutor seven years before that, I can say it's an essential part of any criminal defense case outcome. And I think there's three ways that staying positive mentally in your case um, helps the situation. Number one, it helps your attorney. Number two, it helps your actual case. And number three, it helps yourself. I'm going to cover each one of those in turn. So number one, by staying positive, how does it help your attorney? Well, let me tell you, defense attorneys have a real hard job. Think about it. We are the last line of defense between the government and our clients. We're involved in moral decisions. We're involved in um, you know, negotiations. We're involved in uh, counseling. Basically, a defense attorney wears many different hats, at least a good one does. I think a good defense attorney is a therapist. I think a good defense attorney is an investigator or a detective. I think a good defense attorney is a salesman, right? We've got to sell the court. We've got to sell um, you know, the prosecutors, we have to sell our position in the case. Uh, a good uh, defense attorney is also like a bouncer, a bodyguard. We're also trying to protect our clients. And finally, a good defense attorney is an educator. We are a lot of balls in the air that we're juggling. And um, when we have a client that is uh, negative or just riddled with anxiety uh, too often that we can't change, or is putting a lot of emotional pressure on us as attorneys, uh, it can make us drop one of those balls that we're juggling in the air, those different roles. Um, it can take a lot out of your attorney if you are really negative towards the attorney, hostile towards the attorney, don't listen to the attorney, because it's our job to try to get a result for you while also making it so uh, you can sleep again at night. Having you do the right things at the right times think about things in the right way, hopefully with the least amount of stress, the least amount of time, the least amount of expense with the best possible outcome. So what we don't need is we don't need another obstacle. If our client is also an obstacle, their attitude, their emotions, if they're an obstacle to uh, us as well, it makes us harder to play all those roles we need to to try to get the result in court. So while it sounds like a cliche, staying positive can really help your attorney help you. It happens all the time. My team of attorneys, uh, they are so good. They're so excellent, but they're also so stressed. And when one of our clients uh, is really difficult, constantly really mean or abusive uh, or, or negative, um, it takes a lot, even more out of the team and out of the attorneys. And I will say that it does uh, make the result take longer. It may make the result worse, hopefully not, but it certainly doesn't help speed things along to try to get that great outcome in a quick way and hopefully as painless a way as possible. So please, if you can, try to stay positive. How do we do that? Well, you know, there's oppositional thinking. If you're thinking something negative, you can just automatically say the opposite. Uh, you can also do another brain experiment, right? Well, why am I feeling so bad about this? Uh, why am I so worried that this DUI charge finally got charged after two years? Why, why am I so down in the face? I've been fine the last two years. Well, it usually has something to do with death. Uh, basically, whenever we feel, oftentimes when we feel negative things, it leads to, well, if I get convicted of this, I'm going to lose my job. And if I lose my job, I'm going to lose my house. And if I lose my house, I'm going to lose my ability to have shelter. I'm going to lose my ability to eat. And I'm just going to die, right? It all gets down to that sort of that way of thinking, the, the fight or flight type way of thinking. And so it's important to, to actually you know, test that with somebody. You have a family member, uh, somebody you know that, that can point out the fact that you're going to be just fine. You've gotten through worse than this. 
So uh, you can read reviews of your attorney to re realize that they're the expert, that they're the ones who've gotten up so many hundreds of maybe thousands of people just like you through, through things. And you can lie on other things that make you feel good. Your pets, right? We always ask, do you have any pets? You know, like I say, if you have a dog, if you lock your dog and your loved one in the trunk for six hours when you open the trunk, which one is happy to see you, right? So we need you to stay positive. It's going to help your attorney. So number two, staying positive. How can it help your case? Well, it helps your case by uh, you being able to get things done. Because you may remember when we talk about defending most types of cases, uh, we aren't going hardcore into the fact pattern. Usually we're not diving deep into a police report right away. We may need to eventually, but more often than not, we're taking an approach where we want to try to have the client do something affirmative because, of course, it's not the prosecutor's job to let us go. It's the prosecutor's job to respond to the case in some way. So if it's an assault case, maybe an anger management class could be, could be something that can be done. And if you're really negative feeling about things, you may not want to do that. You're not going to help us help the case. Uh, so often uh, we will run into a client, you know, once, uh, not an often number of times, every so often we'll run into a client that is, just doesn't want to do anything because they're feeling depressed and, and they're feeling down. They're not staying positive. And we need that client to try to do the things that we ask, like a class, uh, to try to have the prosecutor uh, feel better about listening to our factual defense. If we do nothing, we only give the prosecutor one option, right? They can just respond by going really hard at the client. So if we stay positive, we're more likely to be able to help the case by doing those things that we need you to get done. We also can help the case when we stay positive by just being more on top of things, right? M better communication with the attorney, more quick communication because good attorneys we are looking all over the place, right? We've got this client and this client and this client and this client. And the clients uh, that uh, communicate more quickly uh, with us uh, keep our attention longer, right? You know, if we send out a message and we don't hear anything for four days, we may not even remember what we were talking about very uh, quickly about why we wanted you to do that if it's been a long time. So staying positive helps you get things done, helps you respond to us better, and therefore, is more likely to promote that type of results you want in your case. And finally, number three, and for many people, the most important reason, staying positive will help you feel better. It's a stressful thing to go through uh, a crime. It's going to cause some anxiety, but I like to say suffering is optional. It's all about how we look at things. If we're charged with a crime, we may naturally feel pretty negative, pretty anxious, pretty upset about things. And again, if we can try to stay positive, we can focus on uh, what's the likely outcome of the case from talking to your attorney and looking at other types of cases and looking at the roadmap, the well-worn roadmap that we are going down and trying to get a result. Hopefully, if you stay positive, you feel better because when you feel worse, uh, it's bad for you. It's bad for your health. It's bad for uh um, creating more cases. If you stay negative, you stay in that negative mental state. You may drink again. You may drink and drive again if that's what happened. You may get into another dispute with you, with the loved one that got you in this place to begin with. If it's a theft case and you're a little anxious and depressed and you stole something, if we don't get out of that headspace, we may actually end up in that position again. And so that's why in our firm, at least, we often ask some questions that have our clients look at us a little strange. It's like, hey, uh, do you live alone or with other people? And if you live with other people, what, what do they sound like when they talk about your case? Oh, you've ruined your life. Your life is over. Or, hey, it's going to be okay. We're going to get through this together. How can you do this? You know, which is it? You know, I need to hear what that uh, voice in your space, not your voice in your head, but the people that are around you, what they're saying. Are they making it better or worse for you? And if they're making it worse for you, sometimes I need to talk to that person to try to get their anxiety down or have them understand how putting the client in a negative headspace is really bad uh, for them. It's bad for the case, it's bad for us, and it's bad for the client. So um, pets are great to keep you positive, uh, getting outdoors, all the things. You know, that's not necessarily what this video is about, but a lot of my time is spent trying to get a client from a worried negative headspace to a positive headspace.
And oftentimes that is talking about a lot of things that have nothing to do with the case. For charge of the crime, we often feel terrible. We feel more messed up than we and defective than we did when we even got into the situation. We think there's a moral problem with us, which I reject in most cases. Anybody can get charged with a crime. And I want us to stay positive so you can help the attorney, so you can help the case, and so you can help yourself. So that's where I'm going to leave it. If you found this video useful, please like and please subscribe. More people will get to see it. And we want you to stay positive. And if you have a legal problem, a criminal matter, feel free to reach out to my firm. We've been doing this more than 20 years. If we get on board, we'll listen to what happened, identify a way forward, and we will be there for you. Thank you.